Happy Sunday besties, welcome back to my channel. In a world full of hauls, in a world full of consumption, I think we can all do with being a little bit more intentional with what we're buying, which is why we are going to talk through my luxury wish list for 2024 today. So sit back, relax, grab a beverage. Personally, I'm sipping on a little matcha latte today, so cheers, let's get right into it. Last year, I only bought one designer handbag. Therefore, this year, I feel like I have earned the right to be a little bit more handbag heavy in my wish list. Therefore, the first item on my 2024 luxury wish list is an Hermes Kelly. Now, not any Hermes Kelly will do, obviously, because we like being specific here. I would like a Kelly 20 or 25, right? In cherry red or navy blue. I want it to be cellier. I want it to preferably have palladium hardware and I want it with a shoulder strap. That is not too much to ask for, right? Obviously, in the world of Hermes, we all know if you shop from the store, then likely you will not be able to choose your color. I am not planning to go to Hermes and making a wish list. I would prefer to go the pre-loved route and be able to like shop around, pick the specific color I want, pick the specific like size I want, stuff like that. So we are not going on an Hermes journey, my friends, despite this wish list having two more Hermes bags. <laughs> Then something else I really want is a emerald ring. Now, I adore vintage rings. I do have a few. For example, this little sapphire one that I wear pretty often. You've seen it on my channel before for sure. Similar with this ruby ring that I wear pretty often that you've also seen on my channel for sure. I would love to have something similar to these rings, right? But in an emerald green. I am obsessed with emerald green. I think emerald green such a luxurious color in general. I don't really want it to look new, like I don't mind it being new, but I don't want it to look like modern and kind of, I don't know, I don't want a new modern looking ring. I want something that looks vintage, like the rings I wear on a pretty much daily basis. But okay, right, I could do with a white gold, but preferably I want a palladium ring with diamonds and emeralds. How gorgeous would that be? I am obsessed, low-key. I want to find it pre-loved, so I want to find one. Maybe that has been passed through family, but the person who got it did not want it, and now she's trying to sell it. That's the kind of vibe we're going for here. I told you about the Hermes Kelly that I want. I also want an Hermes Evelyn, but the mini Evelyn size. I think an Hermes mini Evelyn is so cute. I have gotten it into my head that those are so wearable, so easy to style. If you hang out on my channel, then you would know that I have two Hermes Evelyns, right? And this is the kind of, you know, Pokemon kind of Ash Ketchum side of my brain. I need to collect them all, literally. I think the Hermes Evelyns are the most like low-key luxurious items on this planet. I think an Hermes Evelyn, like everyone needs at least one. I got my mom onto the Hermes Evelyn handbag train and she's also obsessed. She bought a black one in PM and that one is so cute. I personally have a green one, right? In Togo leather, PM size. It's kind of forest green, but it does have a pop of color, spring onion green strap. OMG, so delicious, literally. This bag started the Hermes Evelyn handbag craze for me. I then, at the end of 2022, bought my Hermes Evelyn GM in this gorgeous Clemens leather, which is like a little bit softer and smushier. Now, something started simmering in my brain and I'm like, I adore these bags so much. Like I said, I think... These bags are like the most low-key, luxurious, quiet luxury, if you will, items on the market in terms of handbags. I adore these handbags. I think they're like the perfect mix of being luxurious and like feeling like a luxurious experience when you're wearing them and balancing that with just being a great practical handbag, like a solid, like, you know when boomers say neat? This is what I feel about these. These are such neat handbags, literally. They are wearable, they're fabulous, they're luxurious, they are just everything. I, I just, I just feel the fire inside of me burning when I talk about these handbags. These are the best. Everyone needs an Hermes Evelyn, like literally. The TPM size, the smaller version of this, 
right? This is 29 centimeters across. I think the TPM is 16 centimeters across. This one is 33 centimeters. I think the TPM size, I was thinking in like a navy blue or potentially a, a tube with white contrasting stitching. <laughs> Uh, OMG, I need it. Also, on the topic of gotta collect them all, I've told you before that I don't really understand the Hermes Picotard design. I think I was wrong. I admit defeat. I don't think I was in the right headspace. I've totally changed my mind. I think I need an Hermes Picotard. I think I want it in an 18 size. I think like a blue jean. I mean the color. Or a... <laughs> Once again, a tube with white contrasting stitching. I think either or of those would be so stinking cute. Now, as you all know, when I want to buy a new handbag, I show my parents. The reaction I got when I showed the Hermes Picotin was, uh, that looks like one of those bags that you get from a supermarket, but in a leather version. I'm like... I see what you mean, it kind of looks like a little sack kind of a thing, but I also feel like that is what I'm going for. I think the leather on Hermes bags just, I mean, it speaks for itself, it makes for a luxurious experience. <laughs> I sound like a crazy person. I think I could make room in my collection for an Hermes Picotin. I think an Hermes Picotin would just... Because I do dress pretty preppy, pretty like... I, I do have a pretty formal aesthetic, I guess. And I feel like, along with my hair never working out, I feel like... An Hermes Picotin could also be that kind of undone aspect of my kind of ensemble, right? We have my hair that's always living its own life. And also we could have like an unstructured kind of like leather, just pouch looking bag, right? I think that could be such a like slouchy and such a like undone and such a like nice component of style to my outfits. Does that make sense to anyone or is, is it just me? <laughs> We have some more jewelry stuff on the wish list as well. First off, I was gifted a pair of freshwater pearl earrings, or a few pairs actually, but these are the ones I'm wearing the most. These are my huge tomato seven millimeter freshwater pearl earrings. I wear these on a daily basis. I think they are so classy, so classic, so like timeless looking, and I, I adore them to be completely honest. I have a discount code with them, so I'll leave that in the description box. It's Amanda40 for 40% off a huge tomato purchase. As an addition to my newfound obsession with earrings, I would want a pair of diamond earrings. I have a pair of like cubic zirconia type fake diamond -y earrings. I mean, they're fine, they're cute, but honestly, I would like to have a pair of like standing the test of time, timeless classic diamond earrings that I can just buy once and keep for forever. That is definitely on my wish list. That is something that I am looking into buying. That is something that I feel like would go very well with my general aesthetic, my general mood of my outfits. Now, if we pivot from the fine jewelry topic a little bit, we all know that I adore, adore a good Hermes Click H bracelet. I think adding an Hermes Click H bracelet in a matching color to your outfit or just like a little cute color pop to your outfit is such a good look. I adore it. This is one of my favorite things to add to my outfits on legit a daily basis. I don't go a single day in my life without wearing an Hermes Click H bracelet. That is how obsessed I am, literally. I already have six colors, right? But I want two more colors. I want a palladium, so silver hardware, right? With a navy blue bracelet. Do you see this navy blue or does it look black on camera? I want an Armas Click H bracelet in this navy blue color. Obsessed, literally. I did not buy a single Armas Click H bracelet last year, which is off brand for me, honestly. This year, I have two on my wish list. I have that navy blue one. I have a green, like a dark forest green, possibly with gold hardware, actually. Because I feel like the kind of richness, the warmth of the forest green with gold. Ugh, amazing, so pretty, I need. But if I find one in a dark kind of forest green, like a smushy, like delicious green, if I find one with silver hardware, beggars can't be choosers, right? I, I might fall for that one as well, but let's see for now. On the wish list, we have that navy, rich navy blue one with silver hardware and that 
like cozy for a screen with gold hardware. Two more things to go. I'm sunglass obsessed, we already know. I have these sunglasses, which are my Saint Laurent M40s. Apologies for the reflection, but I am legit obsessed with these. I want a pair of tortoiseshell sunnies. These are my favorite sunnies. They stay on the top of my head fabulously. They are small enough in the little nose bridge to fit me and not slide down. And I, I'm just obsessed, okay? These are my perfect pair of sunnies. I was gifted a pair of Prada sunnies. But the thing is, the, these are just not hitting the mark, honestly. These are tortoiseshell, but... And they're, I mean, they look fine. It's nothing wrong with them, but for one, the nose bridge is not fitting me properly. Secondly, when I put them on the top of my head, they feel like they will move, okay? They might not move currently, but like if I look down, just look at that, where are they? That is unacceptable. Prada, get your stuff together. I am not a huge fan of these, honestly. I do wear them from time to time because I want a pair of, like a perfect pair of tortoiseshell sunnies. Also, like, what is this case? Like, compared to the Saint Laurent, like, look at this fabulous, like, sleek, chic case. Obsessed. And then this. This just looks practical and boring to me. This looks chic and fabulous. I mean, obviously, no shade. If you adore the Prada sunnies, go you. You do you, boo. But for me personally, they're just not hitting the spot. So I need not need, I really want a pair of tortoiseshell sunnies to kind of go with my more beige kind of muted color looks. So that is on the wish list for 2024, last thing. Right, okay, so I have a confession to make. I know this video was pretty Hermes handbag heavy, but I want a Dior bag too. The only handbag I bought actually in 2023 was a Dior handbag. That was a Dior travel duffel. I am obsessed with that bag. It's vintage, it's gorgeous. It's like everything. I'm obsessed with that bag. I think I need another Dior bag in my collection because that was my first Dior bag. I dipped my little toe in the water of Dior and I was like, hmm, this is actually pretty nice. Okay, hear me out, right? I know I'm obsessed with like Hermes bags, but I think a Lady Dior bag would go so well with my aesthetic. I think a Lady Dior bag, like a smaller size with those like, you know with the shoulder strap that has like the chain? Ugh, I love that shoulder strap with a chain. I don't know why. I think like that, not in a patent leather. We all know how I feel about patent leather. Patent leather is not my thing. Like, okay, I know, uh, like all I want currently is a navy blue bag, but I think a little Lady Dior, like I'm not that fussed about the color actually. Just if it is like a neutral color, possibly a navy blue, because like I said, all I want are navy blue bags at the moment. But I'm just thinking, right? Silver hardware, navy blue, small size Lady Dior that you can wear crossbody with like every outfit, just with what I'm wearing currently, right? A pair of like blue jeans, a little cashmere sweater, like a little cute sneaker, and that bag just flung crossbody. Would that not be the chicest thing ever? Don't we think? I personally think so, actually. And like with my hypothetical navy blue Hermes click H bracelet as well with silver to match the silver chain. Ugh, so pretty. I could also do that look obviously with a little navy blue Kelly or a little navy blue Hermes Evelyn. I, I think I just want a navy blue bag this year. We have to make that happen. The Lady Dior is competing with all of these Hermes bags. Okay, so I'm not saying I will buy all of these things. I'm not even saying I will buy any of them. I'm just saying that I would really want them. Essentially, I have plenty of things. I know I don't need a single item on this list, but these are just the things that I'm on the lookout for. If I see them pre-loved, I might swoop in and buy it if I see a good deal. I am low-key obsessed with all of these things, and if someone was to think about, hmm, what should I buy Amanda for her birthday? Then mom and dad, if you're still here, these are all things I would be super happy to get. No, I'm kidding, I'm horrible. And also, can you please tell me like what is on your wish list for 2024? I would love to know. If you have not got enough of me just yet, feel free to subscribe and join the Seedler family. I put out videos every Sunday, 3 p.m. CET or Swedish time. Thank you so much for spending this time and space with me. And until my next video, stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.